another day of near 80 degree temperature. That's pretty neat cloud formations with the sun behind them. Today was another good day. Busy day. Very busy. I had uh, my first call was down in St. Augustine. Uh, had to be there at 8 a.m. So basically my day started at 6.45 this morning because uh, I had to drive up to the shop, get the blue jet, and then drive all the way down to St. Augustine. But uh, it was at the Haynes store uh, at the outlet mall and basically all I did was prevented the maintenance on their registers and their back office uh, server meaning I had to um, basically take them apart and blow them out wipe them off I had a vacuum cleaner with me so I, I vacuumed them out instead of blowing them out but uh that was almost two hours there then uh, my second call wasn't until 2 p.m. this afternoon it was at a Panda Express and first time I have ever worked on a security system uh, I managed to bullcrap my way through it but uh, I had to change out some contact sensors on the back receiving door and the ones that they sent were longer than the uh, ones that were on there. So I had to take the old ones off, re-drill some holes, realign the sensors, and uh, hook up the wires to it. And the door was still uh, popping in and out, so it's still going to cause the false readings because there's an AC unit above the door with a uh, plunger on a spring that the door activates when it closes. Uh, the AC unit, you know, turns on when the door is open and turns off when the plunger is depressed with the door closed. I think that box with that plunger is uh, mounted improperly because the door still pops open sometimes or it doesn't close all the way. Uh, I didn't tell them that they need to replace move that or suggest that they need to move that but whatever I replaced the contacts anyways then uh, there was a motion sensor over the dining room door the side dining room door that uh, they sent some batteries to replace in them <clears throat> the batteries they sent were the platter type uh, the kind you see in like watches and, but bigger ones and uh those batteries didn't fit. They were the wrong type. So I got to tell them, you sent the wrong batteries. So, uh, I had to take so many pictures for that first call. They wanted before and after pictures. That's just ridiculous. I ended up taking like 19 pictures. Then I had to uh, download them from my phone. And in order to do that from my phone, uh, there's no way to like plug in a cord, a USB cord, to download them. So I have to go individually send them via message to my email. That takes forever. And on, a, on this Metro PCS phone, that Metro PCS phone is a piece of crap. It uh, likes to shut off whenever it wants to, usually when I'm trying to send a message or a photo. So a lot of times my photos don't get sent, so I have to keep track of which photo number I'm on. That way I can scroll through the pictures again to get to the one that I need to send next, and then I wait till the end to retry resending um, the ones that didn't go. It's just a pain in the butt. But 
we got them sent to them and they were happy with them so I guess that's all that matters uh, I'm headed home now got a uh, that site survey to do tomorrow at the bank that's gonna take about three hours I mean not the survey itself the survey itself will take about an hour but it's about 45 minute drive there 45 minute drive back so three hours as far as I know that's all I have tomorrow but something else will come up so day one still sitting there still hasn't gotten the hint <sighs> So my roommate just came home, and I was upstairs getting changed and getting comfy, and starting to look through my Facebook and all this, and I heard him come home, and he quickly changed and came into the living room here to watch something he had DVR'd. Uh, we had a kind of an argument, agreement. Um, a while back that when I get home I like to just relax and watch some TV down here so uh, he's basically got the TV during the day before he goes to work and all this and after he comes home from work before I get home I think it's fair but uh, he started watching that and I came down with my computer and I was just going to sit there and listen to music or catch up on YouTube or whatever and let him watch what he wanted to watch. And I don't know. He just got up, turned his program off, and went to his room. It's Big Bang Theory time. And you know what? I found out that my roommate was home early today. He got home around 2 or got off around 2. So he would have been home by 2.30. And he spent the rest of the day in his room playing on the computer, sleeping, whatever. We had a discussion tonight. And he was talking about doing a uh, taco night. And I kind of piped in, hey, that'd be pretty cool if we did taco night. And his response to that was, I will do ta taco night. And then he asked me, what will you contribute? And I didn't say anything. He just walked off into his room. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'm just going overboard or overthinking it, but I don't think I am. It made me think about... Uh, all the times I had bought stuff and cooked for him. And during the holidays, I asked my friend to cook one of her corn casserole dishes that I would eat, but it was mainly for him because I was thinking about him and he didn't do anything for the holidays. He missed out on some good food. And uh, <clears throat> I ended up letting him eat most of the corn casserole. <clears throat> but uh, it just made me think about all these things I've done for him. And he hasn't done anything in return. So tonight I sent him a message, uh, basically calling him out, telling him how much of a selfish person he is. And I'm uh, he can forget about me doing anything for him ever again. He, uh, he's like locked in this room now. Said, uh, I'll just stay out of your way and all that and whatever. He needs to learn to think about other people besides himself. Especially in a roommate situation, I mean, all the things I've done for him, I'm not asking for much. I just wish he would 
think about other people other than himself. He also said he was just joking about asking what I was going to contribute, and that is a very childish response, because he was not joking. I got some really exciting news today, too. Um, my aunt and uncle got approved for a week um, at their timeshare down in Orlando area, and uh, they're going to be coming in March. So, a couple months from now, I already put in for time off during that week, because I'm going to go down and see them, spend uh, several days with them. I'm really looking forward to it. Like I said before, I haven't seen them in over a year. I mean, actually, have I? I can't even remember the last time I saw them. It's been quite a while. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be fun, I think. I get to see something new and see some family members and... Of course, I'll be taking y'all with me, um, but yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. With that being said, for this vlog, um, what would you do if you had a roommate like this? I know uh, things are going to change um, over the next few months, and things are going to get better. I can guarantee it. But, uh, comment down below. What would you do? Please. Tell me. Offer suggestions. Uh, I think I'm going to end this vlog. Um, I'm just relaxing and watching The Big Bang Theory. I think I told you all that's one of my favorite shows. It's very funny. I love it, but uh, I'm going to download this, these clips from today and edit it and have the video ready to upload tomorrow, and just rest. Hope everyone has a great night, uh, sleep tight everyone, and see you tomorrow.